I think part of growing up is learning more about yourself and learning how you want to express that to the world. One really common way people express themselves to others is by their outfits. In high school, I dressed to fit in and there's nothing wrong with that. I just wore what everyone else was wearing. But I've been out of high school for a few years now and I'm noticing that all of those clothes I wore in high school, I don't wear anymore. They're just not my style and I don't think they represent me very well. My style took a noticeable change. I loved this shirt like right between right when I was going from like middle school to high school this shirt was everything to me it never fit me right and the arms are way too tight I could barely get the arms on when I was in high school it's kind of sheer and it has this really weird this is so ugly I can't believe I love this shirt so much so now that I'm 20, I want to figure out what my personal style is. And I'm not really talking about aesthetics here. Um, it's really easy to pick an aesthetic and just really stick to it. But I think it's really rare if a person actually fits in to one aesthetic. For example, an aesthetic like cottagecore. We see it all the time on TikTok, Pinterest, YouTube, but I think it's rare when a person's style is only cottagecore and nothing else. And also, I don't think sticking to an aesthetic is personal style. I think personal style is picking and choosing from different aesthetics to make your own. This is gonna help accurately express yourself to other people and give you a unique look. So first, I wanna get an idea of what my style already is. Okay, listen, <laughs> I don't wanna have to tell you to go out and buy a whole new wardrobe just so you can find your personal style. I don't think that's necessary at all. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna look at all the clothes I have and look at what I'm drawn to and maybe ask why I'm drawn to it. And while I do this, I'm gonna make a list just to keep track of what I like and maybe start noticing some patterns. I have an idea already of what I like. For example, what I'm wearing right now. I'm just wearing a white, tank top and denim. I love denim so much and I know this because I have one of my favorite pairs of jeans right there, the light wash one. I love it so much. The denim has always been like a staple. I think it's a staple for like a lot of people, but a lot of people, maybe they're drawn to like dress pants or skirts or something. I'm drawn to denim. I really like denim, especially light wash. I'm just gonna look at what else I'm drawn to in my closet. So these are a lot of the skirts that I have. Actually, I bought this one yesterday. Actually, I did a Hollister order and they came yesterday. So I'm gonna set aside all of the clothes that I got and I'll do like a little haul for you because I feel like it's cheating just to kind of go into my wardrobe after I just bought new clothes and say, oh, these are staples that I'm attracted to. No. We'll look at those later. But these are the skirts I have. And something interesting is that these are all minis. These are all mini skirts. And I love them so much. This I thrifted and it's more of a midi skirt. It hits just below my knees and I have not worn it because I absolutely hate the length of it. I'm gonna note that I love mini skirts. Okay, next is denim. And something about these is that these are both mid-rise jeans. I do have some high-rise jeans, but they don't fit me right now. But mid-rise to high-rise, I love. And actually all of my skirts were also high-rise. So they all hit me right on my waist. So these are all of my trousers slash colorful pants. So these are some blue cargo pants that I love. I just haven't figured out how to wear them yet. These red pants, oh my gosh, I love these. I noticed that I really like red on me. I'm gonna write that down. I like red and I really like colored pants. These on the other hand, I haven't really worn. I saw people um, all over Pinterest, TikTok, YouTube. You see people wearing dress pants and it looks so cool, but I don't really like them. One, I don't like big. Beige. I think beige is ugly. If you're gonna go beige, do brown or just do white. And the thing is, I think these fit into the like quote unquote like clean girl aesthetic slash business casual girl who's going to her internship in New York. And I don't know, I just, it feels a little too stiff, a little too professional, not enough fun. Okay, jackets. I love jackets so much. I noticed I have two red jackets. I have this Tommy Hilfiger one and also have like this windbreaker that's blue, white, and red. Now leather jackets. I actually have a third leather jacket that's not with me. Reality is of having divorced parents. I love leather jackets so much. This leather jacket is a little bit more cropped. 
and so is the third one that I have and I wear these two a lot. So you can see this isn't like super cropped but it does hit almost just right where my pants would if I was wearing it like a mid-rise jean. I really like this. One thing I really like about doing this is that I'm finding what like styles fit me best. Like not aesthetics, but the length of skirts, what kind of waistline it has and how cropped a shirt is. I'm just finding out what flatters me the most. Something I actually found out about the other week was kibby body types. And I found out that I'm actually a gameen body type, possibly soft gameen. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to explain this very well at all. Go look it up. It was actually fascinating. And it explained so much about why I like certain things on me. Okay, dresses. I think this type is really flattering on me. I wear this all the time. The thing is, I'm not obsessed with the color. I don't mind wearing black. It's just that this is a lot of black and there's kind of like no color to this. But what I really like is that it's more of a structured top. Like there's um, padding in this. So it's really fitted here and then kind of flows. And I think that's kind of what I like in a dress. Tops, I have a pretty good idea about what I like. So something I like is shirts with collars. I like shirts that are cropped. I like shirts that are fitted. I like shirts that are colorful. And I love having tops that are in all sorts of colors, but the ones I wear the most are white, pink, and red, and sometimes black. Now for shorts, it's pretty simple, these. Shorts that are kind of short, a mid to light wash, denim, pretty simple. But for shoes, I wear these yellow shoes constantly. I love these shoes that I painted myself. I love these shoes with a pop of green. And I also have a pair of Adidas that are white with pink. I don't have them with me right now, but I love it so much. And then in winter, I wore these boots constantly. For accessories, I don't really wear hats. I wear gold jewelry or beaded jewelry that I made myself. Like right now, I have been loving this green necklace I made. I love little purses. I have this purse in white. I have a purse like, kind of like this in black. And then I love belts. This one is red with gold and it's reversible. So the other side is black and gold. I wear this one constantly. I have this one which has a little heart and this one is actually clear plastic. Okay, so with all of that, I am going to try on the clothes I got from Hollister and most of these are basics. So first I got this one. This is the same style, but with a graphic on the front and I'm really drawn to the sunset colors that are on it. I'm wearing the wrong bra for this, but another white tank top. You can never have too many white tank tops. So this is just a solid red and I really like this one. I got this crop fitted black t-shirt and then I got this one which looks like that other white one but it has a little tie in the back which I think is so cute. Something I want to point out about this is I put in this order to get a lot of basics in my closet. Um, basics are really important but basics for you might look completely different than I know for me, I love wearing white. I can layer a white top with like anything. I wear it all throughout the year. Uh, this one has a little collar on it, which I absolutely love. But what I was saying was that your basics might look different. So my basics are white denim, leather jackets, and pops of color like red and yellow. Yours could be completely black. You could be really drawn to pink, like pink is all you wear. And then the last thing I got was this white mini skirt. I think one reason I really like this is because it's a mini skirt. And I have noticed last winter, I wore mini skirts a lot and I just layered them with tights and boots. Okay, so now that I actually looked at my closet and I know what looks good on me and what I'm drawn to, I'm gonna go to my Pinterest. And if you don't have a fashion inspiration board, you should really make one. That's what I'm gonna be going through today. I have over 800 pins on it. So hopefully I'll get an idea of what styles I'm drawn to. As I'm looking through this, I am realizing just how impossible it'll be for me to fit into one specific aesthetic. It is really all over the place. I have like hints of Western in here, like 70s, 80s, rock star girlfriend, very colorful, like art student pieces, even like some like dark and light academia looks, and also just like random like quirky out type of outfits. Oh, we've got almost like an Italian summer aesthetic going on. I have bright colors, I have dark colors. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through it and try to just ignore the styles, ignore the aesthetics. If I see an outfit I like, I'm gonna think, 
why do I like this? So right away, I'm seeing fringe. So if I could find anything with a little bit of fringe on it, I think that might be a way to go. Okay, I'm also seeing interesting denim. Okay, I'm noticing a trend of leather. Leather boots, leather pants, leather jackets. So I'm noticing a trend here of collared shirts that are bright and button down, which I love. Also, I love the look of tights and fishnets. So I have a list on my computer of clothes I kind of want to look for. Make just a really long list of everything you kind of want to look for. And the thing is when you find something, don't immediately say, oh my gosh, I'm going to buy it. So maybe let's say I find snakeskin boots when I'm thrifting and I'm like, oh my gosh, snakeskin boots, they're my size and just throw them in the cart. No, like actually try them on. I'm gonna need to try them on and actually see if it looks like it suits me because I have never tried on snakeskin boots before. I just like the look of them. And that's the thing. I like the look of them on other people, but will it look good on me? So keep that in mind. Even though you have this really long list, don't just buy it because it's on the list. Actually make sure it looks good on you and the pattern or the style just suits you. So thrifting was a bust. It didn't really go that well. I did find this super cute black leather mini skirt, but the zipper was just all messed up. So, but you know what? It's okay because I did say in the beginning of this, I don't want you guys to have to like go out and buy clothes to find your style. So I'm just gonna work with what I have and try to put together some cute outfits. So when I put together outfits, I'm gonna try to like, okay, this is gonna be really hard, but try to not focus on the aesthetic of it when I'm making it. And then after I make it, I'm gonna think, okay, what type of aesthetic is this or how would I describe it? And I'll write it down. And at the end, after I make, I'll look at the list and then kind of come up with my own aesthetic name. So this outfit is what I wore thrifting and I absolutely love it. What I was in before, those shoes, and some green necklaces. So I don't know, I would describe this basic. I, I, I don't know, um, how about 80s plant mom? It, it looks kind of something like what a mom would wear, you know, minus the crop, but all right. And the whole thing with this is I have to make outfits that I'm actually gonna wear, not just the coolest outfits I can. So tonight I'm actually gonna be going to listen to some live music in a cool venue. So I can make a cool outfit for that. So I could do this black mini skirt. The only thing is that it's, it's velvet. So I don't know about that. So I might try it with this collared tank top. I wanna add in some color because this is giving me waitress. I don't know, this just looks too winter to me. Honestly, if I just switched out the skirt for these, I think that would fix my problems. Okay, yep. Love this. I think this pop of red's really cute. Okay, I did a gold chain and a little pearl necklace that I made. Okay, something looks off, so maybe adding this. This definitely looks way more fun. If I get cold, I'll just put on this leather jacket and it's with these black boots and I'll bring this black purse. Okay, I really like this. I like this one a lot. I feel like this one fits the rockstar girlfriend aesthetic. Yeah, I'll just say that. I am going to an outdoor mall on Monday, so I could figure out what to wear to that. I feel like this would be really good for walking around outside. So I think I'm gonna put on the shorts from before, and then I'm just gonna put on these yellow shoes. I'll wear these yellow sunglasses, and then I think I'll do this white purse. I'll hold this one a West Coast Surfer wannabe. So I also am going to a farmer's market next week. Wait, is this like that Monica? Monica's outfit from Friends? Hold on. Wait, yeah, here it is. Look. So I think that's a sign to put the light wash jeans back on. Okay, I love this. But should I add on this over it or not? I could go either way. I think I like it better with it off. And I probably will keep it off because it'll be like six o'clock at night when we go. So I'm gonna call this one Monica Geller. The next event I have next week is I'm meeting up with a friend for coffee in the morning at like nine o'clock. So, okay, so Here's my options. I could go yellow or I could go pink. I really like the yellow with this. I think it's cute. I'll do yellow shoes, yellow sunglasses, the white purse. Okay, I really like this one. I think this is super cute. You know, I'm gonna call this an 80s Italian summer. Okay, so that is at least five outfits and I have been filming for 45 minutes. I'm gonna stop before my phone just completely overheats. 
Okay, so with the five outfits I did, I wrote down how I would describe them. So we have 80s plant mom, rockstar girlfriend, West Coast surfer wannabe, Monica Geller, and 80s Italian summer. Something I'm noticing, I really like bold, I like patterns, and I like colors. Even in the first one, I had pops of green in there to give it a little bit of color. I'm also noticing that my outfits tend to take inspiration from, I think specifically the 80s and 90s. You know what? I think all of these outfits remind me of something that someone would wear in a coming of age movie. I, I can't, I don't think I can call it the coming of age aesthetic, but you know I'm right. This is something that someone would wear in a coming of age movie who really liked colors. Is that, is that a thing? Coming of age aesthetic outfits. Okay, I'm waiting for my internet to connect, but Okay, like the 80s plant mom, it's like the main character, what she just wears around her house when she's chilling at home on the weekends with nothing to do. She probably has this dance montage as she's cleaning up her room. The rockstar girlfriend one, that's when she goes out with her friends in like the middle of the movie. She dresses up really cool and it's a little out of her comfort zone but she's experiencing new things. West Coast surfer wannabe, that's when she's just hanging out with her friends, just going to get ice cream or something. The Monica Geller one, just a casual outfit. And then the 80s Italian summer is when she meets the love interest. You can see it, right? All right, coming of age aesthetic outfits. The only ones that are really coming up are ones actually from movies, like characters wearing outfits from movies, or kind of like a mood board of like perks of being a wallflower aesthetic and then putting clothes that would match that aesthetic. You know what? I'm gonna call it small town coming of age movie aesthetic. I feel like that fits. I feel like that fits really well. Okay, the lighting's gonna be a little bit worse in here, but uh, this is where I'm gonna be. We're good. But yeah, this is where I'm gonna be doing my makeup. Having like a go-to signature makeup look, I think is really important. I mean, not important, but you know what I mean. I actually already have one, so I'm gonna show you what that is. If you don't have a signature makeup look, this might work perfectly for you because it's more natural. So first, the base of it, I keep it pretty natural. I don't use foundation anymore. I like how my skin looks. I have freckles, so I want those to show through. So what I do is I just put on moisturizer under my eyes and I'm just gonna take the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer. I don't know if they still sell this, but I just kind of dab it right under my eyes. I'll put a little bit on my lids um, and just anywhere I have redness and then I just blend it out with my finger. All right, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go in with this. It's just what I have close to me right now. I'm gonna go in with a little bronzer. I don't contour. Next, I go in with a blush. I really like using cream blushes, but this one I start dabbing about here and then go up like that. Sometimes I don't even bother with highlighter, but I've really been liking it recently. So I either go in with like a champagne color or sometimes even a gold. Onto eyes, I'll go in with just one of these brushes. I'll take the same one I use for bronzing, the same color, and just put it all over my lid. And then I go in with a little bit of a deeper brown for my crease. The next step is I go in with a gold shimmer. I do my inner corner and then I go out all the way to about the middle. Okay, I'm gonna do eyebrows before I forget. I have this e.l.f. clear brow and lash mascara. So next I do eyeliner. I have this liquid one and like with a felt tip and then I have this one that's kind of like a gel that you dip with a brush. I don't know if you can see, but these do not have sharp points on them. And that's why I really like going in with a felt tip. And then for mascara, um, and that's the last step, I just do eyelash curler. I go in with a white primer and then black. Okay, so next I wanna talk about having like a signature hairstyle. My signature hairstyle changes a lot, but usually it's curly. You're gonna curl your whole entire hair, so that's why I sectioned it like this. You're just gonna curl everything away from your face. So while I'm doing this, I also wanna talk about another thing, which is a signature scent. I have two perfumes that I switch between. I have a Gucci Guilty one, and I think a Valentino one that I really like. 
But the thing is, I don't wear perfumes too often. Actually, what I do is my signature scent is in lotions. And I really like mixing up the type of lotions I get, but I've found that my signature scent is things that have like an undertone of vanilla. And also you can have a personal scent through the hair products you use. You can get a shampoo that smells really good. And that's gonna be much cheaper to do than buying perfume and stuff too. Also, I wanna say I am on TikTok. I post a lot more often over there because it's just uh, super short form content that I can film in minutes. And would you guys want to see shorts? So let me know your opinions. Do you like watching shorts or do you just want me to stick to the long form content over here? And while I'm asking you guys questions, what kind of videos would you want to see from me? I'm curious. I, why do you follow me? I know my video on summer activities got a lot of views. Would you guys want maybe like fall activities or something? Is that why you follow me for fun aesthetic activities? Or do you follow me more for vlogs? Or do you follow me for this series actually? Let me know. I'd actually be um, really helpful to know why people follow me. All right, so that is it. And it looks insane right now, but trust the process. Please ignore my dog. He's just lonely. Flip your head upside down and comb through all the curls. Okay, then flip your head up. And then just kind of keep running your fingers through it until it's how you want it. Yeah, that is how you do my signature hairstyle. So that's how I found my personal style, I guess. I kind of created it. Let me know if you use any of the advice I gave in this video and stay tuned for episode three.